Hi everyone, my name is Christina. I'm with Sweatshop Hot Yoga Studio in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Today we have a 30 minute live, really easy going yoga flow planned for you. We're gonna focus on our hips and hammies. So working on opening up the hips and the hamstrings, stretching them out, really trying to find that line right before discomfort, right? So we don't wanna push it too far, but we do wanna push ourselves a little bit further to see if we can deepen into those stretches and really open up the muscles in those areas. So with that, let's get started. I'll meet you on your mats. So in our butterfly position, we're sitting on our glutes here and our soles of the feet can come to touch in front of us. I like to rest my hands on my feet for just a little bit of support. So today we're really focusing on opening up the hips and hamstrings. So here we want to let gravity do its work and just let your knees fall nice and easy to either side. Try to keep a nice straight back here. And feel free to close your eyes. We'll start connecting with our breath. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose, followed by a nice deep exhale. Continue that deep breathing, trying to go nice and slow. Just try to be present on your mat today. Take one more round of breath together here. Nice deep inhale. And exhale through the nose. You can make your way to a tabletop position. So in your tabletop, wrists, elbows, shoulders are on a nice straight line. We have a nice flat back. And knees are about hip width distance apart right underneath those knees. We'll take a few rounds of cat and cow. As we inhale, we're going to drop the belly low. Gaze can shift up to the sky. And exhale, push the mat away and round the back. Feel free to go at your own pace here. Inhaling to cow. And exhaling to cat. Let's take two more rounds here. Inhale, belly comes nice and low. Exhale, we push the mat away through your hands. And last round here, inhale, belly comes low. Gaze can shift to the sky. And push the mat away, rounding your back into cat. You can come back to a neutral tabletop. We're just going to do some gentle circles here. So we're just moving forward slightly. And when we come to the back, our glutes can almost meet the heels of the feet. So just doing some nice big circles, maybe seeing which areas feel a little bit more tense than others, and really push your hips out to the side as you're going through these circles here. Nice, slow, and controlled. Warming up the hips a little bit before we get into a few more stretches to help open them up. And let's reverse those circles so you can go the opposite way here. And again, bringing the glutes almost to the heels and really pushing the hips out on the sides of the circle here. Let's come to a neutral tabletop. We're going to curl those toes under and lift the hips and knees up coming into a downward facing dog. We won't have too many downward facing dogs today. So while we're here, maybe see if the hamstrings feel a little tight. Maybe rock the hips side to side. Just exploring where you need a little bit more attention today and a little bit more stretching. Let's find some stillness in that downward facing dog. And we're gonna to come to the top of our mat. So you can either hop or take a few steps, maybe one big step. And let's come to a halfway lift. Our hands can be resting on our shins here. And forward fold, crown of the head hangs nice and low here. 
we'll slowly roll the back up all the way to mountain pose. So in our mountain pose, we want those big toes touching. Heels can be about an inch apart. We're standing up nice and tall here. Inhale, let's bring those arms up overhead. And exhale, hinging at the hips for a forward fold. Can inhale to a halfway lift. And exhale back down to the forward fold. In your forward fold, maybe take a slight bend in the knees here. Legs don't have to be straight. Let's come to another halfway lift. So nice flat back in the halfway lift. And one more time, forward fold. Crown of the head hangs nice and low here. See if you can relax your back as well. See if you can feel that stretch in the back of your hamstrings. Let's slowly roll all the way back up to our mountain pose. And inhale, arms can come up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, we'll plant our hands on the mat. Step the feet back into a high plank. And we're going to bring the hips up to the sky for downward facing dog. You can find some stillness in your down dog here. Try to hinge at those hips, pushing them out away. Keeping a nice flat back. On our next inhale, we'll lift the right leg up nice and high to the sky and bring it between your hands at the top of the mat. You can release the left knee down to your mat. So we're coming into a low lunge. So in our low lunge here, see if you can shift the hips forward just slightly to feel a little bit of a stretch in this left hip flexor. So we're letting those hips sink nice and low. And maybe bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. We're going to push the hips back into a half splits. In our half splits, you should be feeling a little bit of a stretch through that hamstring. And inhale, we'll come forward into the low lunge. Let those hips come nice and low. Exhale, let's move back to our half splits. Try to envision drawing the heel of your right foot towards your body so it's not actually moving, but you're thinking of bringing it closer to you, really trying to stretch into that hamstring. Let's inhale, come forward into that low lunge. And one more time, exhaling into our half splits. Feel free to move your hands here if there's a position that works a little bit better to help support yourself. We can inhale one more time into the low lunge. This time we're going to toe heel that right foot to the outside edge of our mat. And then both hands can come inside of the right foot. We're coming into lizard pose. So lizard pose is nice because we have a few different options here. You can stay on the palms of your hands. Or maybe if you have a little bit extra space, need a little bit more of a stretch, you can lower down to your forearms. See what works for you today. You can also curl those left toes under to lift your knee off of the mat. Wherever you are in lizard pose, try to see if you can release those hips. So we're not holding tightness in our hips to hold ourselves up. We're just letting them sink towards the mat. From your lizard pose, we're going to curl those left toes under if they're not already. Lift the knee off of the mat. We're going to walk the hands over to the long edge of our mat bringing them to the center, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. So toes should be pointing at about 10 and 2. And we want to lift the crown of our head down to the mat, trying to feel a little bit of a stretch in the hamstrings here. 
See if you can really bring your torso towards your legs. So you're using your hands to almost push your upper body towards your legs here. And we can lift up and we're going to pivot all 10 toes to face the back of our mat now. Bring that right knee down. We're coming back into our low lunge. Should already almost be there. Make sure your hands are framing your foot here. We want the knee directly above the ankle. And hands can come right below the shoulders here. Really let those hips sink nice and low in our low lunge. Exhale, let's push the hips back into our half splits. Again, envision drawing that left foot or the heel of the foot towards your body. We want to feel that stretch in the hamstrings here. Inhale, coming back into the low lunge. Try to let the hips sink nice and low. And exhale, hips push back into our half splits. These are nice and gentle, so don't try to push it too far, but maybe find that edge where you feel a stretch, but you're not, you're not hurting yourself, right? This is nice and gentle. Inhale, bring the hips forward back into that low lunge. And exhale, half splits one more time here. Try to square off your hips so your hips are even with each other here. So maybe that means you have to bump the right hip forward a bit. And on your next inhale, you can come forward into that low lunge. This time, left foot travels to the outside edge of our mat. And both hands can come inside of that left foot. In our lizard pose, we can stay here on our palms. Just try to sink the hips nice and low. I think for my hips, this is actually the position that I feel the best stretch. But again, maybe lower down to your forearms. Or even see if maybe today you want to try tucking those right toes under to lift the right knee off of the mat. As you're inhaling and exhaling through this pose, See if you can sink just a tiny bit deeper. So as we exhale, we're letting go of some of the control. Just letting our body come just a little bit closer to the mat. From your lizard pose, let's curl those right toes under. Right knee comes up. We'll start walking the hands over to the long edge and the center of our mat. Toes are pointing at about 10 and 2, so maybe make some adjustments there. And then come into a wide-legged forward fold. Crown of the head hanging nice and low here. Try to use your hands to bring your torso closer to your legs. See if you can really feel that stretch in the back of your hamstrings here. Inhale, chest can lift up, and we'll walk the hands over back to the front of our mat, framing that right foot. Palms are both down on the mat. We'll step the right foot back, and hips shift up into downward facing dog. So nice and easy today. See if this down dog maybe feels a little bit different than our first one. Maybe the hips feel a little bit looser now. On the next inhale, lift your right leg up and bring it between your hands at the top of your mat. Left knee can come down. And this time hands are gonna come off of the mat up overhead. Reach those hands up nice and high. And at the same time, see if you can relax the shoulders just a little bit here. Exhale, hands can come down to either side. And we're going to lift that left leg up. If you are on a hard surface, this might be a little challenging on your knees, so feel free to leave your leg on the ground. But see if you can lift that leg up without hurting your knee. 
and we're just doing a little bit of a quad stretch. Having a hard time with my balance today. Your right hand can come to that right knee and see if you can open up to the side here. You might feel a little bit of a stretch in the right hamstring, maybe that left quad. See if you can bring the foot just a tiny bit closer to the back of your hips here. And you can release your foot back down to the mat. Those left toes are going to curl under and we're going to come into a triangle pose. So all of our legs, both legs are straight here. Hips are open up to the side. Those left toes are pointing to the long edge of the mat. And as we inhale, we're going to hinge at the hips coming into triangle pose. So your right hand can maybe reach the mat or maybe right hand rests on the shin here. Stretch up nice and long through that left arm. Try to push the hips back here. Maybe shift your gaze up towards that left hand. And we'll bring the left hand down to the mat. Those back toes, the left toes, are going to spin to face forward. So we're at about 10 o'clock here. Our hands are framing our foot. We're going to come into pyramid pose. So in pyramid pose, we're just folding over the right leg. I have really stiff hamstrings, so my pyramid pose is admittedly not the prettiest. You can bend that right knee if you'd like. Wherever you need to be to feel that stretch today. And on our next inhale, we're going to bring the right hand in front of that right foot about six inches and lift the left leg off of the mat. We're going to come into half moon. So left leg is about parallel to the ground and left hand lifts up. We're trying to open up our hips to the side here. Doesn't have to be pretty or perfect. Think about opening up the hips to that long edge of the mat. Let's bring the left hand down. Left leg can come back down to the mat. All 10 toes spinning to the long edge of our mat. And we're coming into a side lunge. So feel free to use your hands to support on either side of that right leg. Left leg is extended nice and long out to the side here. Right foot can either be completely on the mat or maybe you're on your tippy toes. I have some days where I'm way tighter than others, so today is a tight day, so I'm on my tippy toes. And both hands can come to the inside of that right leg. We're going to push our bodies up. We're going to come into that wide-legged forward fold again here. So head is hanging nice and low. See if your hands can reach the ground here. Shift your weight forward just a bit, maybe to the balls of your feet. That will help you feel the stretch in your hamstrings here. Inhale, we can lift the chest up so we're parallel to the ground. And exhale, we're going to come into a side lunge on our left side. Just kind of sitting on that left leg. So my left side, I can get my whole foot on the ground. Feeling that stretch through the right hamstring. So the right leg is nice and long. Toes are pointed towards the sky here. So flex those feet. And then inhale, we're going to spin all 10 toes to face the back of our mat. Straighten out that left leg. We're going to come into pyramid pose. So we're folding over that left leg. Try to connect with your breath here. Just don't forget to breathe. Nice deep inhales and exhales. And on your next inhale, we can bring that left hand in front of those left toes about six inches. 
lift the right leg off of the mat. Maybe you stay here, stay for your half moon. This is a great starting point. If you'd like to take it a bit further, see if you can open up your hip first. So you're opening up to the long edge of your mat and then right arm lifts up as well. Let's try to stay nice and strong here. And right hand can come back down to the mat. Right toes come back down to the mat. This time our toes are going to face the long edge of the mat. We're going to come into our triangle. So all of our legs, both legs straight, arms nice and long to either direction. Keep the hips stable. Reach forward with that left hand and bring the left hand down to either that left shin or maybe see if I can reach the mat beneath you here. Try to push those hips back. Right arm is reaching nice and high here. Right hand can come back down to the mat. We'll walk the hands to the center. And one last time, coming into our wide-legged forward fold. Toes are at 10 and 2 here. Trying to feel that stretch through the hamstrings. And we'll start pivoting all 10 toes to the front of the mat. Hands can come to frame your foot. Palms of your hands come to the mat. And step the right leg back into high plank. And we'll shift the hips up to the sky, coming into downward facing dog. From here, you can let your knees come to the mat. We're going to come into half frog. So in our half frog, we'll start on, I'm going to start on the left side so I can show you guys just a bit better. So our entire torso is coming and our body is coming to the mat here. And then the left leg comes up at about 90 degrees. So maybe scooch over to keep your knee on the mat just to give you a little extra cushion here and when you're in your half frog we want to see if we can let our hips just sink nice and low to the mat so we're resting on our forearms here left leg is open to the side your knee should be in line with your hip here so if you're a little bit off of the ground, maybe you're here, that's completely fine. Just continue with your inhaling and exhaling. And on those exhales, maybe just release a little bit of control. Let your body relax down into your mat. We're gonna finagle ourselves on over to the right side. So I'm gonna scooch over so I can have some padding under my knee here. Left leg is nice and straight now, and right leg comes so that our knee is in line with that hip, and knee is bent at about a 90 degree angle. We're letting those hips sink nice and low into the mat. So see if the inside of your hip, if you can get that any closer to the mat. Want to see if we can close that gap a little bit today. This is a nice, easy stretch. If it's not feeling like an easy stretch, then you can back out of it just a little bit. No need to push yourself too far. And on our next inhale, we can come to the palms of our hands. We'll come to a seated position. Legs are stretched out nice and long in front of us. And let's bring the left foot to the inside of the right leg. Inhale, arms can come up overhead. And exhale, fold forward over that right leg. See if you can grab your foot here. Maybe try your ankle or even your shin. Nice deep inhale. And as you exhale, maybe come just a 
inch closer down to that leg. Deep inhale through your nose, followed by a nice deep exhale. On your next inhale, we can lift up and then let's switch those legs out. So now left leg is coming nice and long in front of you. Right foot coming to the inside of that left leg. Standing up nice and straight through the back. Inhale, arms come up overhead. And exhale, come forward, hinging at the hips. Seeing if you can grab a hold of that left leg. Maybe you notice one side is a little bit tighter than the other. That's natural. For me, it's my left side. Sometimes I have to spend a little extra time on the left side. See if maybe your forehead can reach your knee here. Maybe the elbows can reach your mat. Using your breath to let your body sink just a little bit deeper on those exhales. Inhale, we can lift our upper body and we're going to bring our legs nice and wide, as wide as comfortable for you. Doesn't have to be anything extreme. Inhale, arms are going to come up overhead and exhale, hands can come down to the mat and they can gently walk forward here. For me, I have a hard time with a wide-legged forward fold. So I come to about my forearms. Maybe this is easy for you. Maybe your forehead can come to the mat. Try to hinge at the hips, feeling a stretch, not only in the hamstrings, but maybe the inside of your hips as well. Nice deep inhale. And a nice deep exhale. Take one more breath, nice deep inhale through your nose. And exhale, see if you can sink just a little bit deeper here. Inhale, you can come all the way up. Legs can come back together in front of you. And we're gonna bring the right leg into our chest. So it's called a little baby cradle. So this right foot, is gonna to go to the inside of that left arm and your right knee is gonna to go to the inside of that right elbow. So you're hugging your knee nice and close to kind of cradling it like a baby here and see if you can still stand up nice and straight. Maybe explore some movement, rocking to the left and the right. This will help open up your hips a little bit. You don't have to push it too far, but see if each time you can come just a little bit further out to your side. Maybe inhale as you open up and exhale as you twist left. Inhale, open up to the side and exhale, twist left. Let's release that leg, bring the left leg up so left foot to the inside of that right elbow. I kind of grab onto my hands here and then left knee, left elbow. Try to stand up nice and tall here so we're not slouching over. If this is challenging, you can also just bring your hand to your foot and your hand to your knee. So that would be a nice modified version if you're feeling a little bit tight today. So hug that knee nice and close to your chest. You can stay here, or again, maybe open up to the side as you inhale. Exhale, coming to the left or the right side. Inhale, opening up to the side. Exhale, crossing over to the right. Feel free to go at your own pace. Maybe you feel best in the middle, just finding some stillness in the pose. That works just as well. Let's take one more inhale, maybe open up to the side and exhale, crossing over to the right. 
We can release that leg and we're gonna lay all the way down on our mats. Heels of the feet can be about six inches from the glutes. And let's bring those knees into our chest. Soles of the feet reach up to the sky. Grab a hold from the outside of those feet with your hands and pull those knees into your shoulders here. I actually like to move my arms so that they're on the inside of my legs and then I can really open up my knees, pull my legs a little bit closer to myself. So we're in a happy baby here, feeling a nice stretch through the hamstrings. Nice deep inhales and exhales here. Trying to feel whatever stretches and movements feel good for us today. And on our next inhale, we're gonna gently come all the way up to a seated position. We're gonna end where we started. So coming back into butterfly, see if you can deepen the stretch a little bit more from where we started. So maybe that means you bring the feet a little bit closer to your body and really let the knees hang nice and low in either direction. You can grab a hold of those feet, kind of pull your chest forward to make sure we have a nice flat back here. Let's take a few deep breaths together here. Nice deep inhale through the nose. And a nice deep exhale. One more breath, inhale through the nose. And open mouth, exhale. Try to let those knees come just a little bit deeper to each side. Bring your hands to heart center and namaste. Hopefully those hips and hammies feel a little bit better than they did when we started, a little bit more open, a little bit lighter, and just feeling refreshed and good. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed our nice easy stretches. Again, it's nice to find that line where we're pushing ourselves and challenging ourselves, really deepening that stretch, but not hurting ourselves, that's never the goal. Um, we just want to work at connecting with our breath and using those exhales to really help us deepen into those stretches. So thank you so much for joining me and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.